In Zen, we are going to create a new experiment from scratch. We're going to open the program. Wait for the hardware to initialize. We will say OK to this, and we will go to our Acquisition tab. Here, we will go ahead and we will choose New, and we will give it a name. We will say Multi for using the Multipass Cube, and we will do DAPI GFP Sci3. We will come down to Imaging Setup after we save this. And we will click our first channel by clicking this Wide Field Plus button. And we will choose our DAPI by double clicking. We will go ahead and we will double check that the DAPI cube is chosen with the multi, since this will be a multi-pass experiment. We will come to the sprocket and click on rename and name this m dappy for working with the multi-cube and save it. We will go back to plus wide field, go and click on GFP, double click. We will check that the cube is on the multi. We will go ahead and we will rename it and it will be m GFP. And we will save that off. We'll come back to wide field again and choose our Psi 3. Double click that. Check that the cube is on the multipass for Psi 3, which it is. We will go ahead and we will rename that M Psi 3. OK, and we will save that. We'll close this dialog here. And now we'll scroll back up. And under Channels, now we can see that we have our DAPI. When I click on it, it will go to that channel. And it's coordinated with the 385 excitation. EGFP is coordinated with the 475 excitation. Psi 3 is coordinated with the 555 excitation. If I come to GFP and go live, I will go ahead, I will get an image, and I could move around a little bit. Okay. And I will now adjust the intensity. It's at 50%, and the exposure is at 150 and I can click Auto Scale. I can change to the DAPI channel, and I've got Auto Scale on. It's at 150, and it's at 50%. If I want to increase it, I can change the intensity, or I can change the exposure time. We want to stay 50% intensity and below for about 50 to about 800 milliseconds. That way, we will reduce photo bleaching. We'll check Psi 3. Auto is clicked on. And we're at 150. We're at an intensity of 30. Uh, I'm sorry, we're at an intensity of 50 up here. Um, so now we can go ahead, we can say stop. So to check that this works for an automatic capture, we will go ahead and say snap. One, two, three. I can turn off the DAPI. I can turn off the EGFP. I can auto scale this and I can see my Psi 3. I can go ahead and click on the GFP, auto scale, I can see my GFP. I can change my DAPI channel, auto scale, turn off the green, and there we have a new multi-channel. I have an asterisk up here at the top, so I will come here and say save. Now I can also export this configuration so I can open it later, and I will come back to the sprocket and say export. I will go into backup settings, and I will keep the same name. I will say save. And that has been saved. If I want to import a setting, I can go to import, find my folder I'm going to use, and choose one of the following settings to import. And so I can do the one that I just made, multi-cube DAPI GFP Psi 3, double click it. Okay. And now we have our setting.